Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Stripe Payment Gateway. Now this particular plugin is one of the best payment gateways to receive the payments online within your web store. The customers will find this particular payment method at the checkout time so as to make the payments for their orders. Now this particular plugin works in the production as well as in the testing mode so you can choose any one of them as per your own requirement there and uh, using this plugin the admin can receive the payments from the customers as well as make refunds as required apart from that this plugin handles everything like currency mapping card address validation cvc validation and much more so in today's video tutorial i'll be showing you the workflow at the customers and how the customers can make use of the stripe uh, payment gateway to make the payment for their orders at the checkout time and I'll also be showing you the workflow at the cost at the admin's end wherein the uh, how uh, the admin would be able to uh, make the uh, module configuration settings so I'll be showing you that as well but before we proceed further with this particular uh, video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up now, right now you can see that I'm at the OpenCard web store front end and I'm on one of the products that's the iMac so as a customer I'll be adding the product into the cart to make a checkout as uh, normal and I'll be tapping here on the checkout button thereafter now at the checkout time I'll be selecting my address tapping on the continue button continue button for my uh, delivery details uh, I'll choose my delivery method and then you can see that under the payment methods uh, wherein we have to select the payment method we have the stripe payment method now here the customer can select the stripe payment method select the terms and conditions and tap on the continue button thereafter now as soon as this is done the customer would be redirected to the checkout stripe there and here you can see that we are able to see the details here for the amount that needs to be paid for the iMac here uh, that's for hundred dollars and the shipping is for five dollars now I'll go ahead and I'll be entering the details here also you can uh, enable the Google uh, or the uh, GPay and the Apple pay for this uh, particular plugin so for now I'll just go ahead and I'll be entering uh, my demo card details I'll be selecting my uh, expiry I'll be entering my CVC number and I'll be choosing my address here as United States now the selection of this address can be enabled or disabled from the module configuration settings as well now thereafter the customer just needs to tap here on the pay button and you'll see that the uh, payment would uh, go through it has gone through will be redirected back to our uh, home page there in a while from now and the order has been placed we can go to the history as well and view the particular details of the order that has been placed and here you can see that uh, the payment method chosen was uh, stripe by the customer and the payment that was made for uh, was for $105 $100 for the product and $5 for the shipping itself now this was the customers workflow now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see what different configuration settings are there at the admins end so for that let's hop on to the admin backend panel now now I've already logged into the admin backend panel now after the successful installation of this particular plugin that's the open card stripe payment gateway the admin will find the web pull stripe option and under that he'll find the configuration and the log section under the configuration section you can directly tap here on the configuration to reach the configuration section otherwise you can navigate through extensions extensions then you'll have to choose payment methods and then you'll have to go to the web pull stripe payment method so you can tap here on the configuration to directly access the configuration section so here we are on the configuration section for the uh, open card stripe payment gateway as you can see and uh, here uh, we have the very first option that we have here is the store so you can choose the store for which uh, this uh, particular uh, plugin should be applicable to then we have the general management stripe management checkout management uh, status management uh, webhooks and the wallets as well so as I've already told you you can enable the Google Pay and the Apple Pay on Stripe checkout page as well and for that you'll have to log into your Stripe account and enable enable both of the payment methods from here 
So tapping that up, uh, this here uh, link would take you to the Stripe uh, login page. You have to log in and then you can enable the Google Pay and the Apple Pay and this would then be available at the checkout time to the customers. When the customer uh, sees the Stripe page, on that page he'll be able to see the Google Pay and the Apple Pay as well as required. Now under the general management here you can set the payment method title. Now this title would be visible to the customers at the checkout time under the payment methods and this is the title that is uh, visible to the customer so this is customizable so accordingly you can set it as per your own requirement and uh, then we have the payment method status so from here you can enable or disable the particular functionality of this particular stripe payment gateway for your store so you can choose an enable option or a disable option for that as required then you have the payment action here basically you can choose between authorize and authorize and capture so depending upon your requirement you can choose authorize or authorize and capture you can set this sort order for this payment method at the checkout time then we have the total basically here you can set the transaction amount restriction so you have to enter the minimum and the maximum values if you want uh, that this type will work within the uh, particular uh, amount range so you can set the minimum amount and the maximum amount between which the stripe payment gateway uh, should be available for the customers to select otherwise you can uh, leave it as uh, blank as well then you have the allowed geo zone so you can select the geo zones where you want to deliver the order or if uh, the customer will not uh, uh, under selected zones is not under the selected zones and the method would uh, not be displayed to the customer so here you have to choose the geo zone for which this uh, uh, particular uh, thing would work then we have the uh, allowed customer groups uh, so you can choose the customer groups for which this particular payment method should be uh, applicable and available for then coming to the stripe uh, management section here uh, you can select the payment um, mode as uh, testing a mode or the live mode uh, uh, in the live mode you are having this particular plugin in the production mode uh, so you can make use it uh, in the production as well as in the testing uh, environment as well as per your own requirement and depending upon the payment mode uh, chosen here uh, whether it's a testing one or it's a uh, live one you have to enter the secret key and the uh, publish key for uh, the respective one for testing you'll enter here of, uh, for the testing one if you selected the payment mode, uh, mode as testing otherwise if you selected the payment mode as uh, live then you have to enter the secret key for the live and the publishing key for the live here then you have the currency alteration basically so here you have to select the currency that will be charged against selected currency by the customer at the time of payment so if this uh, if it is disabled and the customer is using disabled currency at the front end then the stripe payment method will no longer be available for payment so accordingly you'll have to select the currency alteration from here as per your own requirement there then after the stripe management we have the checkout management here uh, you can set up the shipping uh, address uh, uh, validation there so if you set this option as yes then uh, the customer needs to select or enter his address as well on the stripe page there otherwise uh, if you have chosen as no then the uh, enable shipping address validation would not be there then coming to the status management here you can set up the status management for the successfully paid status as complete or as required for the payment cancels uh, status you can choose the respective uh, cancel status for the address street failure status you can choose the uh, status uh, there uh, for the zip code failure you can set it as uh, pro uh, processing or uh, as required for CVC code failure status you can set it as reversed or you can set it as complete as required and for the refund payment status you can set the refund payment status as refunded there so these are the status management sections then we have the webhooks so for the uh, setting up the webhooks you'll have to log into your account uh, uh, and go to the developers and add the below URL as the endpoint by enabling the following events that you can see here the payment intended succeeded and the balance available so uh, to check uh, the uh, or to see these type logs you can tap here on the click here uh, 
link as well so from here you can enable your webhooks uh, copy your uh, webhook URL enter the secret code for the webhooks there and then you can tap on the save button and lastly we've already gone through the uh, Google Pay enabling of the Google Pay and the Apple Pay on the Stripe checkout page uh, and uh, how you can log into the stripe account first and then you'll have to enable both the payment methods from there and then they'll be available for the customers to choose at the checkout time uh, when they are on the stripe payment page they'll see the google pay or the apple pay there as well along with the option of making a payment using the card there an example of the same is here you can see that uh, here uh, we can make uh, a payment using the google pay or we can pay with the card as well same goes for the Apple Pay. If the Apple Pay is also enabled, we'll see the Apple Pay as well here, along with the Google Pay uh, there. So yes, that was much about the Open Card Stripe Payment Gateway, and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.